Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys. And guess what? We risked it all today. We paid $160 for this unit, and we cannot see anything of value in there. All you see is a ton of boxes, a ton of totes, all stacked up really high. So we really went big on this one. Let's hope they're full of treasures. And without further ado, let's get into it. guys let's get into it let me tell you the reason I dropped $160 right now boom don't tell me that's not worth 160 this is worth a thousand dollars easily maybe a million I don't know but everyone knows that I don't know why they invented this it really only served one purpose but we're not gonna talk about that this looks to be full of files and things like that so that's paperwork for once we get home let's get this out really quick nice boxes this time really yeah everything's put together nicely that's one of the reasons i wanted to go on it because look at that i mean all the boxes are nicely stacked and taped so easy hopefully it makes it easy more files files don't necessarily mean bad let's take one random thing out what is this study abroad okay so it might be school stuff it might be junk but we'll definitely go and do it all once we get home Office basement. Office basement. How about basement? Uh, let's see, these photo albums. They are. What is that? That looks old. Sojourner Truth. It's from 1994, it's not even that old. <laughs> it's just made to look old. But let's see if there's anything else interesting looking in here. Envelopes. Uh, not really. <laughs> the personal stuff we'll give back, like the uh, photo albums, things like that, will go back. Let's go this way. Resolution, Council of the District of Columbia. Oh, well, that's a whole certificate. I don't want to put their name out there. <laughs> but arts and crafts stuff. Yeah, it looks full of arts and crafts stuff. Popsicle sticks, stickers. Books, all kinds of little things like that. Please don't fall. Ooh, some textbooks. What is this, though? Let's talk about that. Oh, it's a graduation gown, I think. That'll probably go back. There's our cap. Yeah, there's their cap, too. There's two in there. That stuff will go back. Oh, look at these textbooks. Let's see how old they are. They look in good condition. Um, let's see. I don't see a date. 2010. There's an ISBN. If someone wants to Google it right now, look it up. We're going to look these up when we get home for sure. But textbooks, I mean, if they're all good textbooks, they can pay for the unit. Century 21, entrepreneurship, learning with computers, computer connections, and keyboarding connections. We'll definitely check out those ISBNs on the Amazon when we get home. What's in this box? Ooh, looks, oops. Looks interesting. What do we have in here? Full of money, right? Full of hundreds, hundred dollar bills. Bam, full of nothing. But nice little organizer, something to take to the flea market. Ugh, let's try to rip this box open and see what else is in here. Another one of the same thing it looks like. Now this one has paperwork in it. There's a floppy disk. There's a floppy disk. That's how so you know this unit's been there for a long time. Probably has not been touched in a while. Uh, there's some CDs. Look like they came out of somebody's car. They're all real ones. It looks like not burnt. Probably not nothing I'd listen to personally, but... There's the inside more CDs in there. Yeah. A couple burned ones in there. But still, CDs are cool. What do we have here? My passport essential, uh, a portable hard drive, but it's not in here. 500 gig portable hard drive would have been nice. Hoping that's somewhere else in the unit, because that would be really cool. More arts and crafts stuff, envelopes, cards, things like that. What'd you leave in here for me? Eh, nothing. Boo. Let's see, what else do we got? JFK's lunch. <laughs> oh, I see a wallet. 
another one. There's a CD holder actually, I think. Yeah, it's a CD holder. And we'll let you know like we did before if anything random or crazy comes up. What looks like in here, anything? No, it's not really a wallet. It's just like a little address book type thing. So, nothing too crazy there. Take this box out. What's in this? I see a candle. Oh, a few candles. Do they still smell? They do, after all that time. Who knows how long they've been in there. They still smell pretty good. I don't think these are expensive ones. It's still, you really love candles. What else is in there? Anything? Bunch of random stuff. What's in there? Nothing. Nothing too interesting. Ooh, purses for days. What do we got in here? Nothing. Nothing. Come on, it can't all be empty. Bueno, is that a good brand? Anybody know? Because I don't. Let's see, there's some stuff, something in here. What is it? Probably tampons. Oh, come on, it's trying to be funny. There's tampons in there. Just beautiful. So they have been used, so there might be little pieces of stuff left behind randomly. Here's another wallet, let's see. Any cash? Doesn't look like it. So there's a lot in here. That's gonna take a lot to go through. Look at all these. I mean, look at all those purses. Definitely gonna have to take these home and go through them all because that would take a while to sit there and do, so. That's definitely interesting and promising. What do we got in here? Car oil or something, motor oil. 5W30, that would have fit that gold car. Uh, let's see, a calculator, flash drive, nothing interesting. Let's get this right here. What's in this? Ooh, more files. Files are interesting. Everybody else I see go through these on YouTube, they're like, files, ugh. But I'm like, to me, you just don't know. How do you just like, ugh, files? What if there's like money in there? You never know. It could be just straight cash. But a bunch of files and all things like that, so. Another thing, it's for home. We got spoiled by our Climbing money in the second unit was the coolest thing ever, but probably also a curse, because now every time I see files, I get psyched, and <laughs> pretty sure 99 out of 100 times, it's just gonna be files, but it's still fun. Something's wrapped up. Bubble wrap's always a good thing. What is this? Enjoy hands-free communication. These look like speakers. They're Yamaha too. Yamaha speakers. Yeah, what's the big thing down there? What is this, hands-free communication? Are those car speakers? I don't know. Ugh, get out. I think it's just another speaker. Looks like, what? Oh no, the whole stereo set. Look at that. Hmm. It looks modern now. It doesn't look old. So maybe something there. I'm not sure. Let's get that out really quick. Go through another box or two. We're not going to be able to do that too much today because they do close soon. Won the auction kind of late. So let's keep searching really quick. Maybe I shouldn't have dropped that. By the way, did I mention I'm a winner? I got a trophy for something. I don't know what. It's for picking a good unit, I hope. <laughs> Let's see. What do we have in here? What is that? Ooh, purse. Please. Leave you with some cash. It's made in France. I feel like anything made over there is usually good quality France Italy places like that it always seems to be hot expensive <laughs> charger uh, and always we always get mail always just get tons of mail I don't know why storage people that always lose their units always keep all the mail looks like a bathroom bag Is that When they say miscellaneous, I think they meant it. What the heck's in the sock? 
What is this? I don't see an opening. Oh yeah, there is. What is this? I've never seen like a zipper. I thought it was a sock at first. What do we got in here? We have... I'm guessing it's like a heating thing or something like that, I would guess. I don't know. Bunch of random junk there too, I'll have to go through later. These are nice. Liz Claiborne, or what is that? Liz Claiborne. Liz Claiborne. Is that a good brand? I don't know. Brand. I don't know how expensive. Let's hope. Ooh, a lifesaver. Yes. All worth it. Uh, I don't see nothing in there, but hopefully it's a good brand. I don't know. What is this one? Lots of purses. Like, why does it only have so many purses? Too much every outfit. Uh, I just don't get it. What else do we got in here? What is this? Another purse? It's the same one? Yeah. Yeah, I'm stupid. Well, guys, I think that's all we're going to be able to go through today because we got to take all this to the car. But anyway, we'll take it to the car, let you know if we find anything interesting, and then we'll be back next time to finish going through it. So see you then. All right, guys, so we're back up here again. We took all that home, and right now, it's not looking too great. All we have is a stack of a bunch of purses in the stereo system we really didn't look into, so that could be valuable. I don't know, but other than that, a couple of dollar, 50 cent flea market items, so... I'm kind of worried. Let's keep going. This is literally full of a bunch of copies of the same exact book. Going to this one. What do we got? I see a wire. What is that? A car scan? Is this a... I don't know. Somebody tell me what this is. I mean, we'll definitely have it looked up and stuff, but I don't know right now. As of going through this, I am completely unsure. What is in here? Money? Money? Junk. What is that? I like how it's wrapped up. I don't know what it is. Um, I don't really want to rip the... I don't want it too bad. Yeah, I don't want to rip it apart. We'll look at it when we get home, but it's definitely something wrapped up. It looks like glass, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like glass. That looks like a flower pot. This looks like a glass. That looks like a jar of some sort. There's a couple baseballs down here. Just little league. Come on, it's just to be one side of my babe Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get this out of the way. Let's put it right here. Stick. Not more files. What are DDD files? Uh, let's see. Oh boy. I mean, sometimes they're exciting because you don't know what you'll find, but based off yesterday, we went through three or four huge boxes of files and didn't find a single thing. Not really sure what to say about that. Wine holding? Let's see, there's some random stuff. Ooh. That looks like a Mac. Ooh. Definitely looks like an Apple keyboard to me. I hate Apple, but I know anything with the dang Apple logo on it's worth money, so. Maybe the whole computer will be in here somewhere. There's a Mac or a MacBook in here. I think we're doing good. Anything else of interest? Not really. But somebody that's an Apple user, tell me what that keyboard's worth. I bet it's a $20 keyboard. I mean, it looks to be in good shape. At this point, we're penny pinching. So $20, every penny's gonna count. $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start being like Pawn Stars. Or not sponsored, what is it called? Storage Wars. Guys, look at this piece of white foam. I can easily get three, seven thousand dollars with ease on this. <laughs> Where are you selling this stuff? This box is taped up. Says, what? Says bookshelf on the side. Oh joy. It's gonna be more books, isn't it? Is it even worth ripping open? Of course it is. Ugh. That wasn't annoying. Nah, just rip tape cooperate. I think I'd bring a knife, but nope. What do we got? Oh joy. Just more freaking book. Guys, it is not looking good right now. Jeez. Maybe they'll sell. Uh, <laughs> School books. Oh my gosh, are these all... There's more professor books. Hopefully some of them will work something, but... Based off the ones we found yesterday, I don't have much faith. Ah. 
Oh my god. They all have the same label on them. They're all just gonna be bucks. No! I don't want your bucks. Oh man, guys. I guess we've done really good lately. I think we were due for a bust eventually. We're not done yet though. Maybe something in there. Some bears, yay. Storage, very, very, oh my God, they're all files again. Ugh, open. Oh my gosh, all files. Why do you people pay money to store files? There's this brand new thing called a computer and the internet. It lets you store stuff electronically. Uh, crap. What do we got here? Anything of interest? Some shirts. Some cards. Come on. Can you at least leave some money in the cards for me? Doesn't look like it, guys. Looks like all that's in here. Some shirts. Some business cards. And some cups. And... Ooh boy, single digit multiplication cards. Look at that. Stewie. I don't know who put Stewie on a whiteboard. That's actually a pretty good drawing. I'll give him that. Oops. What the heck is this old ancient thing? Another old ancient vacuum cleaner or something? I don't know. No. Huh? Word processing typewriter. Oh my gosh, speaking of old. Hmm, I wonder if that has any value to it. Open? It's taped shut. Yeah. I don't want to rip it open, but you can see it's taped shut right here, but yeah. an old typewriter, maybe junk, maybe valuable. I don't know. What's in this tote? Oh, I never did this happen. I wouldn't put any more on this mountain right here. Oh, I'm not. What do we got? Clothes and pictures and other stuff that has no value. And does not look good in here either. What are all these? I don't even know. There's like fabric in them. I don't know, these are just paper. Ugh. This is not going well. What is this? Something's in it. Come on. Come on. Open you. Open. Watch it. What, what's something really, just try to guess right now, what's something really stupid and cheap that a teacher could have? It's gonna be like, I don't know. It's full of stockings. Seriously. Brand new stockings. Hey, there's some other stuff. I mean, nothing. Like yeah, nothing of any value. Uh, this is not going well. Look on the other side of the box. What? There's a picture of what it was. Oh. A little Christmas tree. Maybe I should have looked. <laughs> what is this ancient looking thing? That looks like a shampooer thing. A shampoo? A carpet shampoo. Those aren't cheap, are they? A little green turbo brush. I mean, this might be old, but gotta be worth something. It's all liquid in it, too. It's gotta have some type of value in it. We have this crate all the way back here. Ew, paint. Why do you store paint? These floppy disks. Ew. Gross. These are all floppy disks. This stuff has not been touched in a long time. A little ceramic jack-in-the-box. I'm hoping that once we go through all these envelopes later, we'll come back with some good news, but... I would not count on it, guys. I would not count on it. I'll leave that there for now. See what's in this blue tote. Christmas stuff, again. Does not look like much. Christmas decorations. Ugh. Some clothes. Office. Obama? Let's say Office Obama. Office Obama. All right, we have Obama stuff in here. 
Uh, not to be clear, don't touch my stuff in storage. Just a bunch of, whole bunch of freaking paperwork and an old camera down there. No idea what that is. An old camera. We should get one of these developed. Do they still develop those? I don't know. Just see what's in it. Some pictures and things like that. Bunch of cards. I mean, you never know again. We'll definitely still go through everything. But it looks like a bunch of just paperwork again. Joy. There's another box down here that says office. Does not look like anything valuable either. There's some DVDs. Are those Wii games? No, there's DVDs. No! Oh, that we might have something. But no, I don't think so. All pictures. Is that a jewelry box? It's full of business cards. Guys, literally one of the things we found was a whole book just full of business cards. Like, you know phones have contacts in them nowadays. These are all cards. Look at this. I mean, there's just wallets full of nothing but business cards. Uh, I don't think business cards are so much. I really don't. Another one, business cards, business cards, business cards, damn. Uh, looks like other than that, just another huge thing full of files. There's something personal, I'll try to get returned. But I don't know if, oh, hold on. What do I see there? Where did that, I just saw it, ooh. There we go. This looks like it belongs to the school. I don't know about you guys, when I was in school, all the laptops used to have this thing right here on it. So maybe this is a school computer. It's old, of course. It's um, probably Windows V stuff, I'd take a guess. Or XP even, I don't know. Study hard, guys. It's Windows V stuff. You gonna cut on? Probably not right now, but it's got a charger in there too. If that works, at least, I mean, it's gotta have some type of value. Hopefully it works. What else do we have in here? An old camera, a Canon, what is that? FF35, probably no value, but interesting. And an old CD player. Well, at least we have something is looking somewhat positive now, the laptop. I was hoping it'd be a MacBook, even though I don't use them, I just know they're worth a ridiculous amount of money for some reason. But we got a laptop, and I think we got about all we're gonna be able to take in the car today. So we're gonna go ahead and blow the car up, and then we'll be back tomorrow and finish this thing up. So I'll see you then. All right, guys, so let's do a recap. Everything we did end up keeping. It did not end up being as bad as a bus as I thought it was gonna be, but still not a huge money maker. So before we get into it, all the books, we went through and scanned every single book about maybe what was it 20 something 21 22 of them were able to be traded in we got about 47 dollars and some change on what's that thing called declutter so that's the first thing 47 dollars from declutter remember how i said we checked the cards always check all the cards and files because <laughs> in one of the cards 30 dollars cash so not a whole lot but i put this at 70 something now 70 some dollars right there and i mean we did pay 160 for the unit plus fees after everything was set it down probably closer to 180 dollars so right there we have about 60 or 70 some of that back this is the speaker set i didn't want to take it out the box now surprisingly with shipping included this thing sells for about 100 bucks on ebay the shipping would probably cost like 40 so i'm gonna guess this thing's worth about 50 bucks and it is complete and everything so that should be about 50 dollars right there so that should put us at about 120. i was scared of all the electronics now because let me show you what i found in there first thing first an old school ipod right here eight gig but look at that screen that thing is smashed I don't know if it works. I don't think I have this charger. It's a pretty big charge. I mean, I, you'd think I would have a charger for it. All the chargers would be fine, but I don't think we have one that fits that. But anyway, with that screen, I don't think it's going to work. That wasn't it, though. Nice iPhone 3, too. Looks great, right? Until you turn it around. I don't know what these people did with their electronics, but an iPhone 3 that is completely smashed in the back. So I doubt this thing's going to work. I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. I mean, I'm almost willing to bet lots of money on it. But... Some of the eco traded things still accept broken ones because they use it for certain pieces. I don't know how that works with Apple, but with Androids, I know you can still trade in broken phones. 
Lastly, a little, I think these are the um, iPod shuffles. Really small one here. I don't know if this works either. I don't even see a charging part on this one. I really don't know. Somebody that's owned this, let me know. All I see is an aux cord. I don't even see somewhere to charge this thing, so. No idea if that works either, but a few random broken electronics. This thing, to my surprise, sells for about $70 new. 70 to 80 depending on the website you're on. So we're hoping to list this for somewhere between 30, probably list it at 50, probably end up getting about 30, $40 for that. So that was cool. The Apple keyboard is complete and it actually also had an Apple mouse in there. There's some sticker residue on there. So we'll have to scrape this off. But once we do, I'm pretty sure the keyboard and the mouse together, I'll probably get another 20 to $30. So that's not bad. This thing is what really blew my mind. If this was complete, and it had the piece with it. The other, there's a couple other pieces missing that weren't with this, but if this was complete, this retails for four to five hundred dollars. But this piece alone is worth about on eBay. I've seen it going for between fifty and seventy-five dollars. So there's a few things left in the unit. We didn't completely clean it out yet, but it looked like all trash. So that's why I didn't go back and do it. Record for the rest of this. Just want to finish the video. But if the rest of this is in there, that could be a couple hundred dollars, and actually mean we made money in the end on this unit. But I don't think I saw anything like that. I think I think all that was left was a couple clothes boxes and a whiteboard so I don't think it's gonna be in there but still if we can get 50 bucks for that at least puts a little bit in the green lastly I was scared with all those broken electronics but we plugged it up and let it charge the laptop does work the only unfortunate problem is is it's locked out I don't have the password for it I don't know how to get into it I mean I know I can download like a password thing on a flash drive and put it in there but I've seen them sell locked out like this. They sell for like $40, $50 and unlocked out, they sell for like 60. So, I mean, it's not that big of a difference. It's like a $10, $15 difference. I don't know if it's really worth the time. So we might just try to sell this locally. Say it's locked out. I've sold locked out computers before. They still sell for, I mean, a good amount because people that know how to do it, they have all the software on flash drive. They just plug it in. It's no problem to them and they can still use it. So the laptop, we're hoping like $40, $50. This thing, we're hoping like $40 or $50. This thing, 30 to 40 this is probably about 30 this is probably about 40 50 30 dollars cash and 40 some dollars in books we actually still ended up making it out good i thought for sure this was going to be a complete total bust but still we made it out in the green not by very much but we didn't lose money and that's the most important thing and it was still a ton of fun to do but anyway that's going to be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching the video if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up but if you're not already hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving storage units thrift stores all kinds of treasure hunting videos every single day of the week and if you want to follow us on our social media links make sure you do that they'll be on screen they'll also be down in the description below follow us on whatever you have because we post updates and all kinds of things that we're doing all the time thank you so much for watching until next time peace out